Summary of Dawson Tribune, 23rd August, Friday, 2020. National Disaster Management Authority. The National Disaster Management Authority is the apex statutory body for disaster management in India. The NDMA was formally constituted on 27th September 2006 in accordance with the Disaster Management Act 2005 with Prime Minister as a chairperson and nine other members and one such member to be designated as vice chairperson. Mandate. Its primary purpose is to coordinate response to natural or man-made disasters and for capacity building in disaster resiliency and crisis response. It is also the apex body to lay down policies, plans, and guidelines for disaster management to ensure timely and effective response to disasters. Vision to build a safer and disaster resilient India by a holistic, proactive, technology driven and sustainable development strategy that involves all stakeholders and fosters a culture of prevention, preparedness and mitigation. Sukafa, Kolkata based political thinker has extended his unconditional apology over his remark on the Ahom King Sukafa in his Twitter handle. Sukafa is the founder of Ahom dynasty in Assam. Sukafa entered the boundaries of Assam in 1228 AD through the Patkai Mountains. He founded the first Ahom capital at Sharaidu in 1253 AD. He died in 1268 AD. International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, is a membership union uniquely composed of both government and civil society organizations. Created in 1948, it is a global authority on the status of the natural world and the measures needed to safeguard it. It is headquartered in Switzerland. The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species is the world's most comprehensive inventory of the global conservation status of plant and animal species. It uses a set of quantitative criteria to evaluate the extinction risk of thousands of species. The IUCN Red List categories define the extinction risk of species assessed. Nine categories extend from not evaluated to extinct, critically engendered, endangered, and vulnerable species are considered to be threatened with extinction. Rural Olympics. Government will organize rural Olympics across the state through the Assam Olympic Association. Aim of the initiative was to identify hidden talents in rural areas so that they could be provided advanced training. Eklerve Model Residential School Eklerve Model Residential School started in the year 1997-98 to impart quality middle and high level education to ST children in remote areas. The union budget of 2018-19 envisaged to build an Eklerve Model Residential School by the year 2022 in every block with more than 50% ST population and at least 20,000 tribal population. An autonomous society similar to Navodaya Vidyalaya Samiti under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs will run the EMO or Eklavia Model Residential School. These schools are being set up by grants provided under Article 275.1 of the Constitution. Divun River Diving River has been recently in news due to protests by the locals and environmental organization against illegal extraction of stone. The river originates from the north of the Boreal Range and flows through the Dimahasau and Kabi Anglong districts and finally drains into the Kopili at Diung Mu. Tespur University Tespur University is a central university established by an act of parliament in 1994, it is an outcome of the Assam Accord signed in 1985 between the Government of India and the leaders of the Assam Agitation. Manipuri Language Day The 29th Manipuri Language Day was recently observed on 20th August on the occasion of the inclusion of the language into the 8th Schedule of Indian Constitution on 20th August 1992. The 8th schedule contains 22 official languages of India. National Green Tribunal It is a specialized body set up under the National Green Tribunal Act 2010 for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of forests and other natural resources. 
With the establishment of the National Green Tribunal, India became the third country in the world to set up a specialized environmental tribunal, only after Australia and New Zealand, and the first developing country to do so. NZT is mandated to make disposal of applications or appeals, for appeals finally within six months of filing of the same. The National Green Tribunal has five places of sittings. New Delhi is the principal place of sitting and Bhopal, Pune, Kolkata and Chennai are out of four. National Company Law Tribunal, the NCLT, was constituted under Section 410 of the Companies Act 2013 to cure appeals against the orders of the National Company Law Tribunal. NCLT is a quasi-judicial body that adjudicates issues relating to companies. It is also appellate tribunal for orders passed by the National Companies Law Tribunal under Section 61 of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016 and for orders passed by the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India under Section 202 and 211 of the IBC. Any person aggrieved by the order of the NCLT may file an appeal to the Supreme Court. That's all. Thank you.